We want to begin this half hour with the new Rossman report. Could predators be spying on you and your kids through your computer's webcam? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossman is here with some eye-opening and kind of frightening details. Jeff, good morning to hey, you. Jeff. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, it is kind of scary. And the really scary thing is we all do this. We use our computer, then we get distracted with something, and we simply walk away. You forget the computer is still on, and the criminals are counting on it. Now, they can hack into your webcam remotely, watching your most intimate moments live. Worst part is you'd never even know. This morning, we're showing you how they do it and how to protect yourself right now. These teenage girls don't know it, but a stranger is spying on them inside their bedroom. What about you, Cloud? And in their dining room as the family eats dinner. Little do they know, thousands of miles away, this man has hacked into their laptop and turned on their webcam. People who are victims generally have no idea that they are victims. That man is working with us, computer expert Jim Stickley of Trace Security. And suddenly somebody has naked photos of you or, or something else. Suddenly you're all over the Internet. He says families like this are easy targets for webcam predators. Criminals like Luis Mijangos. Prosecutors say he was spying on over 200 women through their webcams, watching their most private moments, even blackmailing some of them. He's now serving six years in prison. These are criminals. These are people. Toms. These are predators. I mean, they're, they're your worst nightmare. Who can watch you live in your most intimate moments. Anywhere you might have your laptop, which could be your bedroom, your bathroom, your kitchen, anywhere. So we set up an experiment using this New Jersey family. With the dad's permission, we had our expert hack into their computer. How'd he do it? Sent them this innocent-looking e-card with a virus. They click the little link in the card, and as far as they're concerned, they're going to see little quacking ducks. And in reality, I've also loaded a Trojan on their computer during that time. Giving him full access to the webcam, even when the computer is in sleep mode. You'd have no clue. Have a seat. Thanks for doing this. We told Corinne, the mom, and the daughters, we came over to do a general story about online security. Ever any problems here? Anyone ever hack into your system at home? I don't think so, no. Remember, they have no idea days before we'd been spying on them through their computer webcam. Our interview over, we told the girls to go upstairs and wait in their room. Then downstairs, we let mom in on the secret. We actually recorded your family dinner the other night. No one was in your house except for you guys. It's really creepy. I mean, my children are on their computers in the evening in their bedrooms, and I'm, I'm a little frightened right now for their security. So we took it up a notch, having our expert hack into the webcam in her daughter's upstairs bedroom, where they were waiting with our producer. We're watching them live right now inside their bedroom. I, I'm sick over it, actually. I really am. It's very upsetting to see this. This time it was our security expert. Next time it could easily be a predator. I actually appreciate it, because I'm hoping I can learn from this and try to avoid this ever happening. Wanted to show you something. Then we gave the girls a wake-up call. We've been watching you from downstairs. <laughs> the webcam on your family computer, our security expert, was able to access and hack into your system and watch you in your room. Oh, my God. It's scary. It's definitely scary. Someone could be watching you at any time, and this is, like, where you feel most comfortable. So how can you protect yourself? That's the main question. Number one, shut off your computer when you walk away or close your laptop. You can also put a piece of black tape across the lens of the webcam. Here's another tip. Don't open any emails from people you don't know. We hear it all the time. And by the way, that includes those Facebook links that say things like, watch this incredible video. Unless you trust the person, don't do it. And those random links, by the way, Savannah and Matt, are exactly how the hackers get in, as you see. But do you have any idea of how widespread spread something like this yeah, is. It's hard for the FBI to know that because many of the victims don't even know they're victims unless you're blackmailed like the gentleman in that, in that story did. Uh, but the problem is one criminal who gets in can have hundreds of victims he's watching at once. All right, Jeff Rossin, good investigation. I don't think I'll be opening any emails yeah. from you anytime <laughs> soon. Thank you. He's not the problem. I know. No. <laughs> no,